Good morning, new Millennium Academy scholars and staff. I am excited that we are back at it for quarter number three. And this week is a little different because last week we didn't have teaching with each other on Wednesday. You had independent learning. We didn't have school Thursday. We didn't have school Friday. Then we had the weekend and then no school Monday. And now here we are with only having one day before our rising rhinos. So this week, there are no rising rhinos of the week. There are only rhinos of the month for the month of January. Now, students, please continue to show the rising rhino way. Yesterday, I talked to you about the ways that you can show being a great rhino. I also need your age. I need your help. Your teachers have so many different things that are changing and moving right now with opening up of hybrid learning. So I need your help to remind them to make sure that you are constantly um, showing and talking about the Rhino way in your class and noticing other students being great rhinos. But I also need you to remind them that you need to nominate and choose a Rhino of the month every week. Okay, so whether you're going to do that on a Tuesday or on a Wednesday, you need to choose a day that you can nominate a rhino of the month. And those are the students that we are noticing that are having weeks, long days of showing that rhino way, that they are being consistent and constant with showing us and proving to us that they are being the best rhinos that they can be. So Let's get it off. Remember, you're, if you hear your name today, you're getting a delivery. You're gonna be receiving a new cool drawstring backpack, a water bottle. You're gonna have in there a lanyard. So like a necklace that you can put your keys on. You're gonna get a t-shirt for Rhinos of the Month and then you're gonna get a certificate. And I want you to be proud of those things. Wear them with pride. I know when I see other students from other schools wearing their shirt at Walmart or Target or Cub Food, I stop and I say, hey, congratulations. I see that you're a student of the month, way to go. I take the time because people notice. Whether they say something or not, I can guarantee you people notice what you're rocking and what you're wearing. So wear it with some pride. Let's go ahead and let's identify those rhinos that won for the month of January. And our first one up is going to be for our kindergartner. And that is going to be Aubrey Zhang. First grade, Bertha Chang. Second grade, Andres Perla. Third grade, LJ Lee. Fourth grade is Alita Her. Elena Yang is a fifth grade. Sixth grade, Melissa Lee. Seventh grade, Angelina Vang. And eighth grade is Chang Kong Yang. Congratulations to all the winners of Rhino of the Month. We are so proud of you. Now, before we leave, I want to leave you with this last word. Imagine, believe, achieve. Can you say those with me? Imagine, believe, achieve. Now, it's kind of a process. I want you to first think in your brain, what is something that you really want to accomplish? What is something that you really want to do? Imagine that. And it could be big. It could be like, I want to be the next president. I want to be a president. Whether that's the president of your class, the president of a school, the president of the United States of America one day. Imagine, what do you want to be? Now think about it with, with all of your brain. Once you imagine and you have a dream, now it's your job to believe. And you can't just believe, oh yeah, I think I kinda wanna do it. Yeah, I think I probably can. No, you have to stand really firm and you have to believe with your entire body, with your whole heart that you can do it. And you're not gonna ever stop until you achieve it that you have to keep pushing each and every day until you get to that achieve. 
that you finally reached that success, but it didn't get easy. It wasn't easy. It wasn't handed to you. You have to work for it. So you have to imagine your dream, believe it in your heart, and then achieve it with all of your might. And some days are going to be easy. Some days are going to be so hard and you feel like giving up. I can tell you right now, some days being a teacher is really, really hard. There are some days that your teachers feel like giving up, but we don't because we believe in our hearts and we imagine the incredible students that you can become. And we sit there and we fight through it with all of our might because we want you to achieve. We imagine the incredible things that our students can do. We believe in our hearts that you can really do those things. And now it's our job to give you everything we can as teachers so you can achieve whatever you want to do. Now, not only do your teachers and our new millennium staff believe that, but you have to believe that for yourself. So stop and think, what is something that you are dreaming of? And once you get that, start believing that you can truly achieve. So say it with me, imagine, believe, achieve. Go get it. You got it.